How's it going guys? So today's video is highly requested from you guys. I get a ton of questions from Twitter, from Instagram, from my YouTube comments about how I maintain my healthy, shiny hair and how I get it to look like that. So I thought I would share with you my hair care routine and my tips and tricks on how my hair stays as healthy as it is. So I'm a firm believer on what you put inside your body is just as important on what you use on the outside of your body. So everything that you eat and drink and everything that you don't eat and don't drink definitely has an impact on how your hair and your skin and everything else looks. It's nourishing all of those things from the inside out. But the things that you use directly onto your hair or your skin definitely help as well. So first, I'm just going to be talking about my hair care routine and the products that I use. So to start off, I wash my hair at night. I don't wash it every single night, I wash it every other night. So when I do, I let it air dry. And now that I have colored hair, I use a sulfate-free shampoo, and the shampoo that I use, it's a 10 Miracle Volumizing Shampoo. And what sulfates do is fade your color and kind of just take away what you put into your hair, and it's just, they're just not a good thing. So try and get sulfate-free shampoo. But my conditioner isn't sulfate-free, it's still, the, it's a 10 brand, but it's the Miracle Daily Conditioner. This this conditioner doesn't smell very good, but it makes your hair very silky, soft, and smooth. And I only use it maybe twice a week, and I only use it on my ends. My ends are where it gets really, really damaged. <laughs> so after I wash my hair, I let it air dry. I just don't really like to blow dry my hair every time I wash it. It's a lot of unnecessary heat damage that you're doing to your hair. Plus, I'm lazy. I'm very minimal with my hair. I don't really do much to it. So my styling products that I use, I don't really use a lot. But you definitely, 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 I'm gonna say it again, definitely want to use heat protectant on your hair. I cannot stress this enough because I use heat on my hair every single day. My hairstylist can tell because it starts from about right here all the way down because that's where I start curling my hair. All of this is nice and healthy, but right here, it's not a, not a pretty picture. So what I use as a heat protectant is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. This does 10 different things because it's a 10. What this does is it's a thermal protector and it conditions, defrizzes, detangles, adds shine, repairs dry damaged hair, creates silkiness. It does a lot of wonderful things. This is the one that I use when I didn't have colored hair and I just finished the bottle. It's not cheap, but it's definitely worth it. And this is the one that I use now. It's the same thing, but it's for blondes because I'm blonde now. It does a few different things. This one doesn't fade your color and it protects your color from UV rays, reduces fading, and extends vibrancy. I gotta have that. And I just mainly spray it on my ends or like back here where this rat nest always like, you know, finds itself there. You girls with long hair will know what I'm talking about. So this is the only thing that I use when I'm curling my hair. I use this before I curl it and then I add a little bit of hairspray after I'm done and that's about it. When I straighten my hair, I like to use a little bit of argan oil before and after I'm straightening it and all you wanna do is just add it to your ends and then just massage it through the ends of your hair. You don't wanna be putting it up here otherwise it's gonna like gunk up and it's gonna like cause your hair to be greasy and gross. So those are the only products I actually use on my hair. I don't really ever use hair masks, but the one thing that I should tell you guys if you have colored hair or if you have long hair is to get this brush. It's called the wet brush. When you're brushing it while your hair is wet, it'll get up the tangles and it won't be like biting. But my stylist told me to get this because it prevents damage and breakage on colored hair. When you do have colored hair, you kind of have to be a little more vigilant about taking care of it. I would definitely recommend this to anybody that has colored hair or long hair for getting out tangles. And then they also have a shine brush. You can use that enhances shine. This was only like $6. So get it and try it. You may, you may like it, I don't know. So those are all the products that I use and now I'm gonna talk about what I take internally. Eating a healthy diet that is high in fruits and vegetables, pretty much a must to nourish your hair and your skin from the inside out. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Okay, I try and eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and I limit the amount of sugar and processed foods and chips and all that bad stuff that I eat. So I take a lot of supplements in general. They're not necessarily for my hair, but the benefits sometimes can be for my hair. I normally take them for my body because I, I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I have a kidney disease. I'm thinking about doing a video on it. So if you're curious about that, let me know down in the comments below but I take a lot of supplements for my body and my health in general, but it gives added benefits to your hair. So here's everything that I take that will most likely impact your hair. So I take these three supplements from doTERRA, Evening Primrose, Vitamin D, Biotin, and I know that fish oil is really, really good for your hair. If you guys do get it, find one that says filtered so you're not getting the bad mercury and stuff like that. I don't really take a lot of fish oil now, but I used to take a lot of it before, and I will tell you that my hair grew more than an inch every single month when and I took about 6,000 milligrams because I had to take it for my kidney disease. 
My doctor's like, if you start smelling fishy, you're taking too much. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the same thing to you guys. If you start smelling fishy, just cut down a little bit. But I was taking 6,000 milligrams a day for six months, I think, and my hair was growing more than an inch every month. So if you guys are interested in that, if you have slow growing hair, maybe you can try that too. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed for more videos like this in the future. So this is everything that I do that I think helps my hair and that I think gives me healthy and shiny hair from the inside out. So I'm not saying you guys have to implement any of these things that I do, but maybe if you try them, they will work for you too. If you guys have any very specific questions about hair or supplements or anything like that, you can leave them down in the comments below and I will try to answer them to the best of my abilities. And I will leave all the links to the products that I've used and the supplements that I have down in the description box as well. So down in the comments below, let me know one thing that you guys do to take care of your hair and keep it healthy. And as always, I will see you in the next one. All right, she has to spin. <laughs> Caramel corn or moldy cheese? Hey. Moldy cheese, that's actually making me nauseous. Like I, I started salivating there in a bad way. <laughs> you gotta tap oh. it out.